what are some common misconceptions about low dose radiotherapy that you would like to address? Patients with benign conditions is something that always comes up. When we think of radiation, we think of not only treating cancer, but also getting cancer. We're using one tenth the doses that we would use to treat cancer and significantly lower doses than what we would use to treat even heterotopic ossification. So when we're using doses that low, the risk of a secondary cancer is negligible. And when we think of secondary cancer, there's a couple of things you want to factor in. Number one, the dose, total dose. And for this, we're using very, very low doses. The field size, it matters, for example, if you're using a big radiation field versus a really small radiation field. For most of these joints, we're using pretty small fields. Number three, where, like the location matters. For example, if I'm giving radiation to, you know, in an area where there's bowel or bone marrow, that's going to be very different than if I'm giving radiation to a joint in the hand, right? The risk is very different. And then finally, age. Someone is really young, if a 10-year-old or 15-year-old, a 20-year-old is getting radiation compared to someone who's 70, the risk of a 70-year-old is, is going to be much lower because the time it takes for a secondary cancer to develop at, at these low doses and this in these locations is probably 10 to 20 years. So all four of those things I think are very important. We would probably estimate that there's probably a 0.1% lifetime risk of getting a secondary cancer. The way I counsel my patients is that, you know, I tell them that the risk of getting a secondary cancer from low dose radiation therapy to any one of your peripheral distal joints is the same risk as getting a CT scan of the abdomen pelvis. Welcome to this episode of Spilling the RT. I'm your host, Emily Bassett. 